my YouTube channel. My name is Peter Shakes Kyra Fever, the Slim Giant, the Smart MC, or you can call me Washimpundu if you like. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, the best thing that you can do right now is to hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you'll be notified that Washimpundu has posted a new video. Very rare to see me like this. I'm always talking behind uh, the photos. You just hear my voice, but today, on a quick one, I decided I come like this so that you can be able to see me. And I'm about to address um, what Honorable Boboman Lusambo, Lusaka Minister, uh, uh, talked about this um, uh, morning. And of course, people have reacted negatively to what uh, the minister has talked about, who has suggested um, over the COVID-19 uh, frontliners. Okay, so he posted a post uh, on his uh, social media page. Um, before I get to that, this is this is a man that we saw a few weeks ago, if not a week ago. Um, he was uh, giving a hundred kwacha to um, a certain football team if they won. He was offering a hundred thousand kwacha, not only to one person, but um, I think all of them. He was offering a hundred thousand kwacha um, to that team. And then today he says um, he posted a post on his page. He said. Uh, he featured on the Red Hot um, Breakfast show this morning to share um, uh, his COVID-19 experience. And then he says, I also propose that Zambians, or as Zambians, we should consider setting up a fund for frontline workers to offer incentives to health workers and um, who are working so hard to keep us alive. I will, if we all contributed even a one quarter to this fund, millions would be raised which would go a long way in motivating our frontline workers. What do you think? Would you contribute to such a fund if set up? Okay? As far as I know, as far as I know, um, there are donations, of course, that have been given to the government because of COVID, and I'm sure those um, monies that have been uh, donated by donors, different countries, to Zambia, they are the same monies that are supposed to be used for the frontliners to be paid and not Zambians to start putting together one kwacha, one kwacha each. If they set up a fund, whatever they are planning to do, whatever uh, Honorable Boman Lusambo is talking about, whatever he's talking about, it is not the Zambians that are supposed to pay the frontline workers that are working tirelessly. They don't even go home. It's been some months ago. Um, when we heard about um, the frontline workers that are working towards COVID-19 not getting paid, despite the huge amounts of money that was donated to Zambia towards the COVID-19 pandemic. If the donations they wanted again a few months ago, we heard um, where they wanted to channel the donations into road constructions. Look at these people. Meaning the money is there that was donated. So why should Honorable Boman Lusambo, Lusaka Minister, talk about um, they should set up a fund, whatsoever he wants to set up, whatever he is calling it, to make Zambians start paying a one quarter each to support the frontliners? Where is the money that is being donated? Why do they, uh, did they bring a thought of um, uh, uh, channeling the money that is meant for COVID to road constructions. Why do they want to do that? Of course, Zambians have reacted. And uh, right now, I'm just um, uh, going to read some comments on the post that um, uh, the Honorable Minister uh, 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 posted. And so he asked a question. Would you think you can contribute to this fund if it was set up? And these are the reactions from the people on his Facebook page and the post that he did. I think I'm going to be putting up a photo um, of the post and maybe some few comments if possible, if I'm going to uh, be able to work on that. And so Charity um, Kamunga says, not at all. How can we start giving what was already given? Come on, Honorable. That's not fair. Can you get from your account since you have more than enough and motivate the frontline workers? This one says, Imoba Honorable, with all due respect, you donated 100,000 to a football club. You didn't even think of frontline workers. Tell me it's a joke, sir. This one says, Ine, I'm selling rice, so if you can kindly support Naine one quarter, I will gladly uh, donate. 
This one says, I've been following our Honorable very closely. We have people in Zambia who are rich, such that buying um, a piece of land with millions of kwacha is done by cash right away. I just think a week ago, you, our own Honorable, started that, uh, stated that two million kwacha is nothing and can just be spent on shopping. I think we have many in Zambia who don't value two million kwacha. We are all sure if 10 of those kind can come out and contribute 2 million each, a 20 million will be fundraised, which is big enough to cutter a population of 18 million people, unlike asking for a contribution of one kwacha from a majority of poor citizens whose business has been compromised due to COVID-19 and some can even buy cooking oil from that simple one kwacha. Okay? So people are reacting, of course, to uh, uh, the, uh, the, the suggestion that the Honorable Minister has brought up, that he has come up with, of contributing. He's asking, would you contribute if the fund was set up for each Zambian to contribute one quarter? Look at those people that are in the shunt compounds that are even struggling even more than you ask that they can contribute a one quarter towards. Even if it's small, that's a lot of money, quite all right, very uh, a lot, one kwacha. It is just sounding as one kwacha, okay? But it's a lot of money if put together. The two million you are talking about, that's nothing. I'm sure a lot of government uh, uh, officials that are in government, they've got much more. You can put the monies together. I don't know where the COVID-19 donations have gone. I don't know what has happened to them. But then there is money that you have you as Honorable Boman Lusambo and other officials, the government officials that are in government, you have the money. You have it. So you can use it. You can use it and support the frontliners. If you can talk about a hundred thousand, a two million is nothing. Why can't you use that money and channel it to the frontline workers that are fighting and working to keep us alive towards um, uh, COVID-19? Where is that money donated? It, was, it wasn't enough in your pockets. I can't trust PF with my one kwacha. Only other legit channels I can share contribute even a 10 kwacha. How can we trust you with funds when you have failed to account for COVID funds? How many taxes are you doing to put our heads kanshi? To put on our heads kanshi? Donate to people who are already on a salary. What of people whose livelihood has been wiped out by COVID-19? What measures have been put in place for them? 10 million supposedly from government was taken to a commercial bank to disperse, I bet, at their di uh, description. Not so. Has any SME benefited? There is already medical insurance and various other taxes you have imposed on people. Now, are you Amawan Kwacha? What is your plan, Imwe? To ensure you even squeeze blood from people. So people are reacting. Since you are able to buy bundles of bags of millimeter in minutes, why don't you yourself give them those millions? Stop messing with us. Of course, Zambians are not happy about this uh, decision or um, a suggestion. You still want to milk the already poor Zambians? COVID has kicked most of them out of business, yet you still want their one quarter. I thought two million to you was nothing but money one could use for shopping. Why not sacrifice your shopping for this month? See how Zambians are reacting. Of course, even me, I can put that one quarter. There is money already that is supposed to go towards that. I hope you listen to understand, Honorable. Okay? So this one says, all those donations by PF, you still want more. Just for uh, uh, leaning your pockets. The COVID funds and donations have been accounted for yet. Have not been accounted for yet. You came with the story of those monies going towards roads constructions. That's what I was talking about. Where the donors told that donations will go towards roads. Is, it is very selfish to put frontline workers to such a deadly risk than thieves lying pockets at the expense. This is how the, the, the people are reaction. This one says, if you are failing to pay them, 
with the money from donors. How are you going to pay them when we contribute? Please stop trying to exploit us. You're always trying to find ways of milking the poor Zambians and make yourselves more richer. Okay, imagine the donors, they donated the money going towards the COVID-19 and they are failing to pay them. We had once four months without uh, paying them. And the same honorable posted that as he was in Levi Monawasa, there are people that have not gone back home for four months again, not to see their families. They are sacrificing to work and make sure the COVID-19 patients are getting better, taking care of them. So now they want to ask for one quarters donated by poor Zambians when they are enriching themselves to go towards COVID-19 or pay the frontliners that are working towards COVID-19, their own salary. Where are the monies that were donated for COVID? Where is it going? Why do they want to take it to the roads and not pay the workers? If they fail to pay them with the donated money by donors, how are they going to pay them? Of course, this is a good question. How are they going to pay them if we donated our one quarters? How are they going to, uh, to, uh, to pay them? Of course, it will go into their accounts, which is not fair enough. Since you said you usually spend two million for shopping, could you kindly trim the budget to at least one million for the next two months so as to raise funds for the frontline workers? So all in all, the Zambians have reacted negatively and they are not okay with the suggestion by the Honorable Minister. Honorable, I strongly feel that the third quarter or the third million quarter you gave musicians should have been given to the essential health workers and like asking us to contribute one quarter each hello some of us have trust issues maybe that money you want us to contribute may not even be used for the intended purpose all in all we thank god you survived the pandemic <laughs> this one <laughs> okay with all due respect honorable you recently donated a hundred thousand to the forest rangers without considering or prioritizing to healthy sector then you come here preaching about one quarter or one coin then you were even insulting elder brother Vapanji Kaunda over two million kwacha that it was for shopping so since Vaboman you easily ditch out millions don't involve us just give towards those contributions thank you so of course if a two million is just for shopping for Honorable Boman Lusambo, why ask him for those one quarters? If the donors have given money towards COVID-19, that simply means the same money can pay the frontliners. What is happening to those donations? Why say they want to take them or channel them to road constructions and not pay the health workers? If they have failed to pay the health workers who are just even on salary by they are just working for government they are on salary if they are failing to pay them why should we trust them with our one quarters put together and they are going to pay them they know that if a lot of zambia 18 million people of zambia they pay that one quarter it will be a lot of money and they are going to share among themselves the way they have shared the rest of the monies that have come in the country and that have just been in the country to enrich themselves that's what is happening here. So my name is Peter Sheikh Skyrafeva, the Slim Giant, the Smart MC, or you can call me Bashim Pundu. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, the best thing that you can do right now is to hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Bashim Pundu has posted a new video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share the video if you like and many other videos that are on my YouTube channel. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day and shalom, shalom. Bye-bye for now.